Assalamu alaikum, namaste and welcome to the news hour with your favorite host and those Jennifer Rogers and if you are new to our channel do not forget to share this video with all your friends and family so they are aware about all the things happening in Qatar and all around the world and with that we are also available on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube so do follow us on all our other social media platforms and with that I have about five major uh, updates for you today out of which the first one is Oman Air is to operate special flights to Qatar so Oman Air said in a statement that Oman Air will operate two special flights between Muscat and Doha on August 22nd for bookings on additional information please call plus 968-2453-1111 and the extension number is 5. Now between 0800 uh, to 1700 hours, Muscat local times or email muscat that's M-C-T dot sales at omanair.com and book now for these flights. Now good news for Indian expats, Indian Ministry of Civil Aviation and Civil Aviation Authority of Qatar have reached a deal to set up air bubble between India and Qatar from August 18. So you've heard it right. Air bubble to facilitate flights from India to Qatar from August 18. So Indian Ministry of Civil Aviation and Civil Aviation Authority of Qatar reached a deal to set up air bubble between India and Qatar from August 18. In a, late, uh, in a letter dated for August 14, Indian Ministry said that the uh, directors of the General of Civil Aviation may clear the flights of Qatar Airways and Indian carriers on a weekly basis in the equitable manner based on the comparable number of seats provided they submit clearance for the concerned state government and the Indian mission in Qatar along with the application for the flights. Now the Civil uh, Aviation Authority or Qatar uh, uh, wide letter dated uh, 13th of August 2020 has conveyed acceptance of the agreement from 18 to 31st of August 2020 as proposed in our letter dated 13th August uh, 2020 Indian Civil Aviation Ministry said in the letter so the letter also said that these flights from India to Qatar will carry the following passengers. So what are these kind of passengers? So the first one are Qatari nationals. Second, any Indian national holding any type of valid Qatar visa and is designated for Qatar only. It would be for the airlines concerned to issue that there is no uh, travel restrictions for Indian nationals to enter Qatar with a particular visa category before the issue of the ticket slash the boarding pass to Indian passengers. Now it is also stressed that the traffic carried from India to Qatar will compromise of passengers designated for Qatar only. Now in the letter dated 14th of August, Indian Aviation Ministry said that its Director General of Aviation may clear the flight of Qatar uh, Airways and Indian carriers on weekly basis in an equitable manner based on the comparable number of seats. Now also before making any resignation, now the designation airlines of both sides will be permitted to sell tickets between India and Qatar in each directions through their website, sale agents and global distribution systems. Now before you make any reservation in the flight being operated under the above arrangement the passenger must confirm that they will be allowed entry into the designated country. So you remember that, okay? Uh, I know a lot of people are asking me questions right now. I just want to say I will answer to all your questions at the end of the video. I first want to just finish giving all the updates for today and then I will get back to you guys. And even if I stop this video, do not worry. All your questions will be answered even after I'm done with the live video, okay? So be rest assured about that. Now the third uh, update for today is Qatar Ministry actually closes 67 work sites for not following summer working hours. Now field visits carried out by the Ministry of Administrative Development, Labor and Social Affairs represented by the Labor Inspection Department 
during the period of July 16 to August 13 resulted in closure of 67 sites for a period of three days because they violated the ministerial decision number 16 of 2007. Most of the violation companies work in contracting sectors are in the different areas of the country. The ministry inspectors have carried out a number of intensive inspection campaigns during the past days with the aim of ensuring compliances with company operating in the country with ministerial decision that was taken that is number 16 for 2007 determining working hours in exposed or outdoor workplace during the summer the ministerial decision number 16 of 2007 bans work from 11 30 a.m in the morning while they should begin work from 3 p.m during the evening hours uh, the, from the period of june 15 to august 31st every year okay now the decision obliges companies and institutions that have workplace under direct sunlight to set a schedule specifying the daily working hours in accordance with the provision of the decision a visible place that is easy uh, for all the workers to see for the ministry's inspectors to observe during the inspectional visit to the workplace in addition to providing air conditioned spaces for the workers comforts providing chilled water chilled drinking water and light clothing and giving them ample amount of rest period at different times in order to protect them from the risk of thermal stress now with that let me get to the fourth update of the day which is Qatar's return to school plan not final yet but the clear decision by will be coming out by September 4th by the health officials. So the final decision only after evaluating the full spectrum of the benefits of the risk. As the date of the reopening of school is nearing, the, a senior official with the Ministry of Public Health said that the situation will be assessed by the MOPH and the Ministry of Education and Higher Education before the students return to school. So the directions of the Public Health Department at the Ministry of Public Health, Sheikh Dr. Muhammad bin Hamad Al Tahani, while speaking to Qatar Radio, said that the most important step remaining for the reopening of school is the assessment of risk by health sectors for all including parents of the students. Now he said that the currently in the situation with the Ministry of Education, the most important risk assessment is being done, including, for example, the possibilities of postponing studies or maintaining distance, uh, distance education or returning some classes to study, especially in which students have sufficient awareness and the high level of commitment to preventive measures after accessing conditions in the first week. Uh, Mr. Uh, Sheruja Din, I know you've just asked me something, but as I said, I'm actually giving out the updates right now. So do not worry, by the end of this video, I will get back to everybody and answer to all your questions. And even if I off this video, do not worry, I will still comment on your comments and let you know about the answers for it, okay? So with that, there is, uh, as said by Dr. Altahani, he said that there is no doubt that the important point is not to increase the number of positive cases of coronavirus. We are currently accessing the situations and the schools that are adhering to the measures will also be evaluated with the repeated checks from time to time for students and teachers so that there is a commitment to physical distance between students. He said that the evaluation will be conducted continuously until the last moment and there will be a clear decision on September 1st. The ministry gives reopening approval for 10 more nurseries right now and the Ministry of Administrative Development, Labour and Social Affairs has issued a fresh list of 10 nurseries in addition to the 19 announced earlier which were approved by the ministry to reopen following the preventive and precautionary measures to curb the spread of coronavirus. Now, the 10 nurseries which were added in the fresh list of reopening included Kuala Nursery, Montesai's Nursery, 
Encyclopedia Child slash Esdan 23, Tiny Town, Little Montessori Nursery, Bambinos, Dal Al Hana Nursery, Modern Caring World Nursery, Malak Al Abar Nursery, and Royal Kids Nursery. Now, these are the 10 new nurseries that have been given a green signal by the MOPH. Now, the ministry has issued a list of 19 nurseries few days back which were approved to reopen the ministry said on its social media handle that uh, the nurseries were approved after they met all the conditions preventive and precautionary measures that were put in place to curb the spread of coronavirus now the list of remaining nurseries for reopening will be published as soon as they meet conditions preventive and precautionary measures now, let me talk about the most important update for today, which is the travel guide for Indians flying to and from Qatar this in this pandemic. So, I think I'm answering to most of the questions who, uh, or of all the people that have been asking me questions. Like Mr. Sherajo said that we are already applying for the entry permit before six days, but it has not been approved from Qatar government. So, all I can say is have patience for now, sir. I know you've applied and you will get a reply uh, as I'm aware that there are a lot of people who have applied for the entry uh, for the exceptional entry permit and it takes a little bit of time so have some patience uh, and with that let me start with the travel guide for all the Indians flying to and from Qatar this pandemic. So the Indian airlines including Indigo are all set to fly from India to the designations abroad and back to India as well. However, flying in the normal new comes will set new sets of regulations. So please ensure you complete all the requirements as you go to enjoy a hassle-free, safe journey throughout for passengers from India to Qatar and vice versa. So first, the customer categories allowed to travel. First, let's talk about the customer categories who are allowed to travel. So first, Nash, uh, Qatari nationals and their spouse, children and companions along with them on the same flight. Okay, then second, permanent residency card holders and exceptional entry permit holders. Third, GCC nationals using their passport along with the companion under their sponsorship on the same flight. And fourth, foreign diplomats on missions to the state of Qatar holders of administrative IDs and staff of internal organizations. These are the categories who are allowed to travel currently, okay? Second, let's talk about the visa on arrival is not available and customers seeking the same will not be allowed to travel. So right now, visa on arrival is not, is not uh, uh, available. So if you're planning to do so, please don't do it. Stay at home. It's not going to work out because they're not going to do it. The third one, customers travel must carry an exceptional entry permit along with them to return to Qatar with uh, which the state and type and number of days of quarantine is mentioned. Okay. Fourth, customers traveling are required to be in a position of a confirmed to have a position of the confirmed hotel reservation in one of the designated quarantine hotels for a period of minimum of seven days or as stated in the exceptional uh, return permit by the Qatar government authorities. Fifth, the designated quarantine hotels can be booked through Discover Qatar before arriving into the state of Qatar. So as you already know that these quarantine packages or hotel packages are available only and only on Discover Qatar. So if you want to book a quarantine hotel package, you have to do it through Discover Qatar website. Now, the customers are also required to undergo a PCR test on arrival. Customers under hotel quarantine will be required to do a PCR test on day 6 of their quarantine and according to the test result, passengers will be required to follow procedures published on the Ministry of Public Health website or the Government of Qatar website. Now, the exceptional entry permit issued for domestic staff Company sponsored and other workers will state that they need uh, to hotel quarantine for 14 days. Staff must ensure that such customers be accepted in accordance with the hotel booking as per the requirements stated on the exceptional entry permit. 
all customers must fill out two forms and submit upon arrival to the authorities now first is the self health assessment form second is a home quarantine undertaking form okay now 10th all customers must download and register on the etras app you have to have an android or an ios application version of that app okay now fourth following customer categories are exempted from hotel quarantine so which are the categories that have been exempted from hotel quarantine so first those who are over 55 years of age those who have an organ or spinal uh, cord transplant those who have had okay now those who receive uh, therapy like immunosuppressive therapy those who suffer from heart disease uh, who have moderate to severe asthma those who receive cancer treatment pregnant women babysitting mothers with children up to 5 years old those who suffer from kidney failure chronic liver diseases lower limb amputation disabilities who require to support to carry out activities disabled children and their mothers those who suffer from epilepsy and are receiving treatment those with diabetic foot and those with immediate relatives who have died 10 uh, 10 days prior to their arrival those receiving treatments for mental and psychiatric illness and those people suffering from claustrophobia and those people who suffer from diabetes and receive treatment and those who have high blood pressure these all people are exempted from hotel quarantine okay you can just go directly and get home quarantine now for more details you have to visit qatar uh, qatar government website for the following now let me just give you an idea about passengers waiting to undertake uh, onwards to any other state shall be allowed to do so providing that they found any asymptomatic and agree to undergo home quarantine for 14 days after reaching their final destination now other states uh, eligibility to travel to india stranded indian nationals overseas citizens from india card holders holding uae passports and uae nationals including diplomats holding valid visa issued by indian missions and any categories covered by the under of ministry of home affairs guidelines dated 30 uh, 30th of um, august 2005 now the other indian states let's talk about the other indian states now all passengers should have an active indian local sim card okay now i think we are talking about the people uh, so they can use this existing active local sim card to ask their relatives or family members to activate their local sim card before arrival or they can buy a new sim card from the airport now this we are talking about people who are going from qatar to india okay now all passengers must submit a self declaration form or uh, on air suvidha portal there's a portal called air suvidha from there you have to submit a self declaration form and declare that this ca- consent of self paid institution quarantine after that any passenger arriving to india and seeking exemption for institutional quarantine may apply for the same on air suvidha portal 72 hours prior to departure if they fail uh, if they fall in any of the five categories below so what are the five categories if you fall in this five categories then you are exempted from the hotel quarantine first expecting mothers second passengers with under 10 years age of children patients requiring immediate medical care passengers with death in the family passengers with covid negative certificate issued within 96 hours of departure now as per government of india's guidelines international passengers arriving into india are permitted to take onward flights only after they have completed the mandatory quarantine at the first port of entry in india or are exempted from being quarantined now for detailed guidelines issued by the ministry of health and family welfare you have if you want let me know i'll put down the click there okay now eligibility to travel to india first as i said stranded indian nationals overseas citizens of india card holders uh, having uh, you know the na- the country's passport 
and holding valid visa issued by Indian mission and any categories covered by under the Ministry of Home Affairs. Now there's a note that I want you all to uh, really, really put a note about. Passengers arriving on Vande Bharat flights from Doha, Kuwait, Daman and Riyadh must undergo quarantine and make their own arrangements as per the arrival city slash states guidelines. Okay, this is mandatory before flying to another domestic destination, failing which passengers will be denied boarding. So this you have to really keep it in your mind. Okay, now with this, thank you so much for logging on to Qatar Day, the pulse of the nation. Me, your host and those Jennifer Rogers and I will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, remember to take care of yourself, stay home and stay safe and stay healthy. And I know a lot of people have asked me questions. Do not, uh, re do not be, uh, you know, agitated. I will reply to all you guys uh, in the comments section. I will reply to all your questions. And if you are new to our channel, why aren't you sharing this video? Go ahead and share this video with all your friends and family. Okay, do that for me. Until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow and stay home, stay safe. Khuda Hafiz, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.